Hello and welcome to On the Flats. I'm Sophie Gonzalez here with Katarina Vucevic, forward and number 10 of Tech's basketball team. Katarina, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You're from Serbia and you played for the Serbian national youth team, earning the bronze medal in the 18 and under European Championship. How did it feel to represent Serbia and be a part of the team? Well, I played for my national team for five years and mm -hmm. every time you step on the floor and you hear your national anthem, it's just like an amazing experience. And then on top of that, to win a medal for your country, is just a huge honor. Now, how long have you been playing basketball? I've been playing basketball since I was 11, so for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. What about tech interested you and what made you want to be a part of tech's basketball team? Well, to be honest, um, being from Europe, um, I didn't, when I heard first about tech, I didn't know that was even a school. Mm -hmm. But um, Coach Joe um, sent me an email and I did my research and she came to visit me and then I realized that Tech was a really good school with a great basketball program. Mm -hmm. And just her um, coming to see me in Serbia, watch me play, just um, showed me how much um, they're really interested. And that was one of the reasons, along with the academics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Tech is known globally for being a very rigorous and challenging school academically, not to mention with its athletic programs. What was your experience like balancing academics with athletics, not to mention coming from another country and adjusting to a new city? Yeah, it was hard in the beginning just adjusting to the language and the culture, mm -hmm. but um, we have a great academic staff here that um, makes our schedule and they just um, make sure that we're on top of our things and they balance everything out. So as long as you follow that schedule, you're good. Mm -hmm. And what's the biggest difference between living in your hometown in Serbia and now living in Atlanta? Uh, the biggest difference, definitely not having my family around and then mm -hmm. the food, of course. Um, the first month I wasn't really eating when I got here because I just couldn't get adjusted to the food. I didn't really like it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but now they say I'm really Americanized when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. How often do you get to go home and what do you miss most about home? Uh, I get to go home once a year. My wow. freshman year I got to go uh, for two months because I was playing for the national team. But definitely the uh, thing I miss the most um, are my family and friends. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the best advice that your parents have given you? Um, well, this being so different, they don't really know, and then not speaking English, they don't really know mm -hmm. how everything works here, so they really trust me. But um, they just told me, you know, make sure um, to finish school because basketball is not going to be for forever, so just have a plan after that. Do you have any hobbies that you enjoy in your free time? Yeah, I enjoy um, doing community service in my free time. Every time we, mm -hmm. we have a day off, we try to do as much as we can. And then I love watching TV shows. That's what TV my... shows do you watch? Well, my favorite of all time is Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> but right now I'm watching um, Jane the Virgin. You're very active in your volunteer work abroad. What's been the most memorable experience during your mission trips? Last spring, mm -hmm. um, I went to the Dominican Republic and for five days and we were actually able to build a house in two days for a family that didn't have a home. And I think the ceremony when we were handing them um, the keys to the house was really amazing and just to see all those emotions from everybody who was there, it's a pretty good experience. You were recently named to the 2016 All-State WBCA Good Works team, an award that recognizes five student athletes for making a true difference in their communities. What would you say is the reason that you got started in service and how did you get involved? Um, you know, when I was in Europe, um, we're not really big about that. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And when I came here, um, our director of ops is kind of in charge of that, so um, she would always organize stuff for us and then I realized that I really enjoy doing it. And then every time we would um, get, like I said, a day off, we would just try to do as much as we can. Mm -hmm. What's one place in the world that you've never been but would love to visit for pleasure? I've, I've been to Italy but I've never been to Rome and I just want to go there and see the Colosseum. Mm -hmm. And Katerina, you're majoring in 
business. What would you say is something that you see yourself doing in the future and what are your plans for after graduation? Well, after graduation, I'm definitely planning on playing professionally. And after that, um, I don't really know yet, but either um, stay in sports, do something mm -hmm. related to that, or uh, with kids, because I just love being around kids. Do you have any advice for younger athletes and also younger students? Yeah, just, um, just they have to believe in themselves and never give up on their dreams. Well, Katarina, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And best of luck to you and the team. Thank you.